Basically, yeah, well, like I said, I mean, everything, uh, kind of like a roller coaster ride, to be honest, with uh, the news I got and, uh, you know, just, you know, people calling me, uh, reaching out to me, contacting coaches, all that good stuff, just, you know, really trying to pinpoint and find out, you know, where I actually want to go, where I actually want to play football next year, where I actually want to go to school. Um, so, I mean, it's been a process. I mean, I've had to jam, you know, a whole eight months of recruiting in a, a week per se. So, I mean, it's been pretty stressful. Um, been all under a lot of duress, but um, it, it, it's all paid off, and I, I thank God for that. What was it about weight? Obviously, there had to be a couple of besides football. And I just I just got there, and, um, you know, I already had previously known about their prestige um, with academics and everything. Um, but they, they just got some great coaches. You know, they got a brand new coaching staff. Um, who've, who've only done great things where they've been. Um, they brought, you know, programs from the bottom, you know, up. And, you know, that's what I like about that. And, uh, you know, I believe that uh, with this class and these guys that are there, uh, history can be made, and I, I, I want to be a part of that. What about their offense? I mean, I, I mean it's pretty run-oriented. I mean, you got to like that. Oh, yeah, and they really do utilize their back um, in different sets. They put them in space. Um, you know, they, they do a bunch of good things um, with the back. The, the back is a very versatile uh, position in the offense, so um, that, that's making me excited. What do you think this will be like that first day you step on the field when you look across the field at, at the guy who, who, you know, the guy who shall not be mentioned, but, you know. Well, um, you know, you just kind of live and forgive. I mean, it's all behind me now. You know, I've moved on, and I'm moving on to the greater things. You know, I'm at a better school now uh, than I could ever have dreamed for, to be honest. Um, and it's crazy because I didn't even think, you know, something like that could happen, you know, a week ago or a few months ago. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that. What do you think other kids can learn from your experience? Um, you know, just be patient with everything. Um, you know, it, recruiting can get stressful at some times. But to be honest, it's, you know, it's a once in a life you know, time, chance, and opportunity that you get to have to network and communicate with coaches and players and all that good stuff. So, you know, I highly suggest that everyone who undergoes the process, you know, take all five of your official visits and, you know, uh, network as much as possible and just enjoy it. Don't, uh, don't give your word too early because sometimes your word might, may not be the same as someone else's. Um, but, you know, don't, looking back, I wouldn't take anything back. I'm, um, I'm more than thankful that all this has happened. So. You had a Final Four, I guess, Wake, Marshall, Georgia Southern, and what was the other one? Furman. Obviously, a chance to play high. I mean, ACC football, I mean, it's not, you know, out of, out of those four schools, that kind of give you the best chance to play at, a, at the highest level, I guess. Well, yeah, those, I mean, they were all great schools. You know, they're hard to turn down. You know, they got to, um, all those schools are winning. And, you know, it, it, was, it was a really tough decision, especially considering I had about a week or so to make it. Um, but, uh, you know, I just slept on it and prayed on it. And uh, that's, that's what just I felt in my heart. And, yeah. Matt, when did you know you were going to Wake Forest? Uh, probably Sunday. Um, after I visited, I just uh, you know, <coughs> had a strong sense um, deep down that that's where I wanted to be. For the next few years, um, I was real uh, excited and encouraged um, by the new coaching staff and everything that they're implementing into the program and their system and how they handle things from a football perspective. And you know the academics aren't too bad there, so but uh, yeah, that's that's probably what I'm doing. Matt. Years from now, down the road, how do you think you'll describe the events of the past week to your kids and grandkids, and how it affected you and your family? Uh, well, probably have to say something along the lines of, uh, um, you know, never let your guard down, and you can never be too sure about anything. Um, always have a backup plan mm -hmm. uh, with whatever, because um, you know, I was kind of thrown off guard with everything that happened the last few weeks. Um, and, you know, I thank my parents definitely for... The way that I responded, because you know, if I wasn't raised, you know, that way, I probably didn't, wouldn't have known how to handle that situation. But um, yeah, that's that's what I would say. Just um, 
Never let your guard down. I mean, always have a bag of clean. How quickly do you think you can get on the field this year? What's that? How quickly do you think you can get on the field this year? Um, as quickly as the Lord lets me. Uh, you know, everywhere, all throughout my life,